Hi, I'm Christina Hagen. I was born and raised in Alliance, Ohio. I'm currently a resident of Marlboro Township where I have resided my entire life. I've been blessed to live in Marlboro Township because we are a small town, but we have a whole lot to offer. The people in Marlboro Township have great hearts. I was raised on a farm where many people came through. We had a heating and plumbing business. My father and mother taught us about life by letting us experience it. We get to go out into the field serving others and learn about our community by being in their homes, by helping them fix their furnaces and their heaters and riding along on calls and understanding exactly what hard, hard work means. Um, growing up in my family was especially wonderful and life lesson. I was the youngest and the only girl. My three older brothers taught me to be tough and to understand what my capabilities are and what I have to offer to others. Being the youngest is certainly a treat for anyone who's the youngest in their family. You go through a lot of razzing and I will say once more, they make you extremely tough. My brothers always challenged me. My brothers challenged me in more ways than you know physically. They are outstanding individuals. My, my brothers make me very proud. My entire family makes me extremely proud. And I know that our objective through our life and our heart has been centered on service. My mother has a heart of gold and she made sure that we knew that any blessing that we received was from God working in our lives. And that's true. We grew up with foster brothers and sisters who may not have had the opportunities that we had had they not been in the household and we loved them so much and when they left it was always very difficult and heart-wrenching but it gives me a drive to serve children it gives me a drive to do that one day with my life and actively be a blessing to others the same way that they've been a blessing to me growing up on the farm in the business is a life lesson that you can't pay for you learn a lot and it got me working at a very young age my parents didn't buy me tennis shoes when I was in sixth grade, they said, we'll pay half. And so when I was 11 years old, I started working, not sure it was completely and utterly illegal, but I started working as a waitress when I was 12. But I was washing dishes when I was 11, learning a little bit about work ethic and what it means to earn what you have and really appreciate it. And I worked as a waitress until now, which I currently still do. I've been a waitress for, I want to say about 12, almost 13 years now. And I've worked at a lot of restaurants in the community, and it has served me so well to get to know everyone in Hartville, in Alliance, and just the community as a whole. While I was going to college, I worked three jobs to pay my tuition, and I feel blessed to have the college education that I've received. I look forward to, in the very near future, obtaining my last course. And I know that my grandmother is smiling down on me because when she was my age, she was offered a scholarship to Mount Union College. However, she didn't have the finances or the ability to leave the farm because of the demands of the farm. And so she was not able to attend college. And I hope that when I graduate and I'm the first in my immediate family to have a college degree, that my grandmother is looking down and knowing what I'm accomplishing and that I'm thinking of her in the process. But I feel extremely proud of my community that they have given me the opportunity to serve them Serving people has been the joy of my life. I've learned that by serving people at the table, and I know that that's where we resolve our problems. It's where we resolved our problems when we were kids. If we had done something wrong, mom and dad sat us down. There was no avoiding getting in trouble. They made sure we knew what was right, and there was a clear and definite right and wrong in our family, and I feel blessed to have had that guidance very young. And blessed to hopefully extend that guidance to others as a coach and as a mentor to our youth. I, I love working with our children. They are our future. And I can't say enough about how blessed I've been as a coach interacting with high school students, working with varsity athletes, with JV athletes, with girls who take time out of their busy schedule to become better athletes, to become more well-rounded, to learn about community service, to learn about what it means to be involved. And they've done just that, and it's been a blessing to me. They may never know how much they've shaped me, but every opportunity that I've had in Stark County has made me who I am. Waiting tables has made me exactly who I am. And I will wait tables as long as I'm physically able to do it because there's nothing more rewarding than bringing food to people and helping them in any way that they need. And I love doing it. 
I have a sincere passion for service. I know that this is what I was intended to do because I feel called to do this. And every day I wake up and I think how blessed I am to have the opportunity to serve House District 50. And it's, it's truly amazing to be a woman in this legislature and know that we have an impact to make and that people are counting on us to do just that. Fighting for my generation is a thrill because we have so much to offer and so much to bring to the table. And I'm so proud of my community that I'm able to work in the community and that they were willing to embrace youth and know that we need to invest in our youth because we want to stay in Marlboro Township. We want to stay in Louisville. We want to stay in Alliance, East Canton. We want to stay everywhere in Stark County, but we need the opportunity to do it. And I feel blessed to be a part of it. If I can ever assist you, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here for you. That's what I do. And I appreciate you for taking the time and learning who I am. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.